What's up? Record video. What's up, everybody? Boujou Anin. I am Chinodin, and this is Metal and Crypto, where I play metal guitar stuff and also tell the crypto news. And uh, we check the live price, spot prices for gold and silver and the crypto market and all that good stuff. So, with that, we're going to start this off. Also, um, there should be some links to Steemit and Mines. Um, This will be taken down from Facebook after 24 hours. So if you missed it and you want to see it, you got 24 hours, and then it goes over to Mines and Steam It. So, um, this next song is called, or this first song is called Reach. <laughs>
So yeah, again, that was Reach. For those of you just tuning in. All right, now we're going to take a look at Coin Puffs. What do we got today for Bitcoin? We have $7,430.39. That's up 5.12% in the last 24 hours. Ethereum, we're sitting at four fifteen fifty nine. Ripple, 55 cents. Bitcoin Cash, $710.39, 55 cents. Litecoin, $133.96. So we're seeing the markets all green, you guys. That's awesome. See, um, we're about to hit that, that bull run. Uh, EOS, $6.02. Cardano, Cardano. Uh, 17 cents. Stellar, 23 cents. Neo, $53.54. Iota, $1.10. Monero, we got $189.95. VeChain, $3. B uh, Binance Coin, $13.14. N NEM, NEM, 26 cents. Um, you got the tether at 101. Ethereum Classic 1504, Qtum, uh, that's 1508, 1030, uh, 1043 for Lisk, Verge, 7 cents, um, Icon Project is $1.90, R Chain 101, who are we, who are we, that, that, that Korean word, who be, who will be, I don't know how to I don't know how to say that. One dollar and seventy two cents. Nano seven dollars twenty eight cents. Zcash two oh seven sixty four. Walton chain ten sixty three. That that one is the one that they're gonna have the Internet of Things on. Let's see what else we got here. <laughs> Digix Dow's at two ninety one forty four. Wow we. That's down 3%, oh, almost 7. Bitcoin, get you some Bitcoin. We're at uh, $0.0024, <laughs> less than half a cent. All right. And then we can go check out some news. How about that? Some news. All right. What's going on in the world? Bitcoin news on Cointelegraph.com. Talking, I did, I did this, uh, I did this, I did an episode this morning, but I didn't put it up. But you know, we had the breaking uh, trading platform Monex offers to buy CoinCheck crypto exchange for billions of yen. Billions and billions and billions and billions and billions of yen. Uh, what is the exact number? Oh, that yeah, this was because of that hack in January on January 26 when CoinCheck had their um, NEM coin hacked. It was like 530 million dollars worth. That was pretty insane. Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin friendly Overstock.com abandons secondary stock offering amid falling share prices. Google bans crypto mining extensions from web store after 90% disregard policies. And this is because a lot of people were using it to mine Monero secretly from people's um, CPU. Like if you log, if you if you had this script set up on your website and you and somebody comes onto your website. Basically, that script will borrow the CPU to mine Monero from your the users that are the visitors for your website. Oh, it's pretty shady. Um, let's see what else we got here. Blockchain news. Let's check that out. What do we got in the technology area? <clears throat> so they're talking about uh, coin check as well. How to rebound after the biggest theft in the history of the world. $530 million. That's not like, that's a big deal, right? And I know a lot of people that aren't into cryptos are going to freak out about that, but they don't really know what's going on. So, um, 
Let's check out Litecoin. What do we got for Litecoin? Okay, that was nine hours ago. That it's been green since then. Um, not much in the Litecoin. Let's go check out the altcoins. What do we got in the altcoin news? Bitcoin stays over seven thousand. It's at yeah, it's at seventy four hundred right now. So yeah, not really much in the news right now. So I guess that means more metal, right? Oh, we didn't even check out. We'll we'll uh, come back to this. I gotta bring up the what the site. Hold on. Check the uh, gold and silver prices and the news after this next tune. How's that? Here we go.
All right. Let's check out these gold and silver spot prices. And then we'll check out some of the news, right? All right, so we're on sdbullion.com, and we're seeing $16.48 for silver and $1,335.68 for gold. And uh, let's see here. Where's uh? We gotta go to the Silver Doctors. Latest from the Silver Doctors. Let's view it. It's always good to pay attention to what's going on in the markets. So, <laughs> yeah, we got some. Got some fear and uncertainty and doubt going on. Uh, there has been a fundamental stocks down, metals up shift in the markets. This is coming from David Morgan. Rob Kirby, when the suppression ends, silver could go up 30 times in price. That wouldn't surprise me. I mean, look at the way the cryptos are moving. Um, from what we I was hearing before, it was, it was like, um, you know, like... The cryptos will go first. We already seen the boom to twenty thousand, and then we're gonna see the silver let go. Or no, no, it's gonna be the, like the fiat currencies, like the Iraqi dinar and like the Vietnamese dong. Those are gonna go next after um, the cryptos, and then it's gonna be silver and then gold. Um, we'll see that in succession when these things revalue like that. Gold and silver step up to the rolls as stock market meltdown continues. So yeah, if you if you haven't noticed, assets like uh, gold and silver and then uh, cryptos as well are actually doing decent, which is what they're supposed to do. Um, you know, absorb some of that hyperinflation because of the dollar, stuff like that. Problem, the problem with the cartel-run economy. Rising prices with stagnant wages. Yeah, man. You know, you'd think... You know, the whole point of this tax... Um, these tax cuts for small businesses is to help small businesses flourish. And... You know, they have the choice ultimately to pay their employees more... Will you be able to get more productivity out of a higher paid employee? Is that more incentive? Or do you um, <laughs> keep the profits? You know what I'm saying? That's the that's the kind of businesses you're going you're gonna to have to look out for. Those are the ones that keep the profits. So if you're going to go work somebody, work for somebody in this new economy, which I, I'm a big fan of working for yourself. But anyways... Um, let's read a little bit of this. The problem with a cartel-run economy: rising prices with stagnant wages. The vice will tighten. The vice will tighten around until something breaks. It could be the currency. It could be the political status quo. It could be the dot 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 by Charles Hugh Smith of Two Minds. The vice. Okay, so we already read that. Um, it could be currency, it could be the political status quo, it could be the credit debit, our debt system, or all three. Obviously, it would have definitely have to do with the debt system, the credit system. Man, that's just shady business right there, if you understand how it happens. The, the problem with an economy dominated by state-enforced cartels and quasi-monopolies is that prices rise. Since cartels can push higher costs onto the consumer. But wages don't, since cartels can either dominate local labor markets or engage in global wage ar arbitrage, offshore jobs, move to lower wage states, etc. Think about the major expenses of the typical household, internet, telephony, uh, cable, and other digital services, cartels, airlines, cartel, healthcare insurance, providers, and big pharma, cartels, defense weaponry, cartel, higher education, and student loans, cartels, mortgages, cartel, and so on. The economy is now dominated by two consequences of state-enforced cartels. 
One, high profits, high incomes for the owners and managers at the top who reap most of the gains of the cartel. High income individuals pay most of the income taxes and fund most of the political class's campaign contributions. No wonder the political class ensures that the state protects cartels from competition. It's called self-interest. Oh, it's just business, right? Debt. All right, this is number two. Debt, i.e. credit for consumers, so they can continue to borrow more to pay the ever higher costs of living. But debt has a cost as well. And even at low rates of interest, eventually the interest on ever larger mountains of debt crimps households spending and their ability to borrow more. When consumers aren't earning more and can no longer borrow more to support additional consumption, consumption and the rate of new debt expansion both decline, guaranteeing recession. Cartels don't really have competition, and so there is no pressure to lower costs. Cartels have no incentives to innovate in, new, or in ways that radically reduce costs and improve their services. Consumers see this most dramatically in healthcare and higher education where costs just keep rising year after year. How many can attest to that? You know what I'm saying? If consumers can't borrow more to pay higher costs, then cartels lobby for the government to pay the rising costs via deficit spending, i.e. the government borrows more to fund the cartels. Now that students are over indebted, the higher education lending cartels are demanding that the government pay the student debts. So neither cartel suffers any decline in income or profits. Since competition would threaten profits and higher prices, cartels buy political influence to protect their rackets. Politicos, always desperate to raise millions for their permanent campaigns for re-election, are happy to comply. The only output of this system is higher public and, hi and private debt taken on to the rising prices imposed by cartels and stagnation as wages no longer enable the bottom 80% of consumers to keep up with ever higher prices. The vice will tighten until something breaks. It could be currency, it could be the political status quo, it could be the credit debt system, or all three. Here's a chart of the net result of the finan uh, financialized state cartel economy. So that's just showing you a chart. Wow. If only you could see. Go to silverdoctors.com and uh, you'll be able to check it out. Um, again, again, the article... It's called The Problem with a Cartel-Run Economy, Rising Prices with Stagnant Wages uh, by Charles Hugh Smith uh, via of Two Minds. So you can go check that out there. Um, yeah, like we said, there's, you know, the fundamental downtrend in stocks and then metals not having a problem. Crypto's not having as much of a problem as the stocks, so... Actually, we're seeing we're real Green Day right now, so... Green Day! Hey, you guys know, um... Uh, let's see. Okay. That riff from Green Day? No, check this out. Do you know what song that is? 60, uh, uh, 25 or 6 to 4. Yeah, yeah, Chicago. <laughs> oh, man, Chicago. So that's the same fucking riff, dude. Green Day ripped that riff off because Chicago obviously came first, right? And then uh, here's Green Day, obviously. I don't know. I just thought of that the other day for some reason. I was like, I was listening to that 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 Green Day song came out. I was like, whoa, dude, that's the freaking same progression as twenty five or six to four. They ripped off, ripped it off. So, do you guys know about the Chinese yuan that had gotten activated? Last Monday, 
Oh, that the um, they're trading directly in gold, and you can actually um, you can take these yuan in, and you can trade them for gold in in the these bricks banks. That's pretty cool. Um, you can't do that with a dollar. If you take a dollar into the federal or like you know like one of the banks, they're just gonna laugh at you. That's silly. Get lost. Get lost. Get lost with that. That's a promissory note. What are you doing? <laughs> that's, that's basically what they're just, just gonna laugh at you until you get out of there. Um, yeah, dude, these wands, these Chinese yuans, you can actually exchange them for gold in these bricks banks. Because the BRICS banks hold gold. <laughs> oh man, it's pretty wild. Look out! You guys better get it. you start hedging. I mean, it's not gonna be like it's not gonna be like this this freaking crash. I mean, I'm sure they're not gonna do that. It's gonna be from what I understand. What I was hearing is that it's going to be basically. Um, the, the hyperinflation is going to be pushed off onto the crypto market and, and assets like gold or the like commodities like gold, silver, and the cryptos. Um, they're going to try and keep it from hitting the like commodities like bread and eggs and, and such. Um, it's kind of what they're doing, I guess, with. Pulling the money out of the stock market and putting it into the crypto market or some something like that. Anyways, um, what else do I got for you? Uh, if you haven't already, um, check me out on Steam. Go get a go get a Mines account. Go get a Steam it account because even if you're a, a curator, you can still. Uh, on Steam, it you can get paid to curate every for every upvote that you do on somebody else's content. Um, it depends on, I mean, it depends on how much you've been building your account. You can choose to put in like, and here's the cool thing: um, you put in a hundred dollars, you can always get that hundred dollars back. But if you use that hundred dollars to promote your stuff. You're gonna get more followers, um, and you're gonna also you're gonna hit a wider um, audience. And it's like one Steam dollar. I don't I don't know exactly how it works on this one, but I know um, I know all about the mines. I'm gonna have to refresh my memory on Steam it, reacquaint myself. I haven't been on Steam it in a while. I just uh, it's been busy doing life stuff. Just had a child and. Life's good, man. Life's good. Life's good. So, I uh, started cr creating videos for these live, or you know, doing these live streams. And I mean, on Steam, it I put I put a video up last night, and I I spent a dollar. I did a dollar to promote my video, and it already made back three dollars and fifty eight cents. So that's pretty cool. The cool thing is that three dollars and fifty eight cents, um, we're hitting the bottom with Steam. We're at the bottom. So Steam was just at like eight dollars or something like that. I can't. I think it was. I remember it was like eight or nine dollars it hit, and I was pretty excited about that. My account was worth a lot. So, um, yeah, when we hit this bear market, man, that account is going to be very powerful. I'm going to be able to reach a lot a wide audience, and the Steam dollars that and the Steam that I'm getting now is going to be worth even more. So that's that's what's pretty cool about this. Um, you just gotta know, like, when the markets are in a downtrend, you know, you gotta kind of hedge, so to speak. Oh, anyways, um, what else do I got for you guys? I guess I could play one more song and I can end this transmission, cause I am pretty much out of news. And before I head out, I will also recheck those. Um, those crypto and gold and silver prices as well. So, like this, share it if you like it. Um, you know, upvote it if you're on Steam. It if 
you're on minds really appreciate it i really thank you guys for tuning in um it's gonna be it's gonna be a good time it's gonna be a good time all right let me get this set up here uh, one more song here Sorry. Oh, that was terrible. All right, here we go.
So we're gonna go through the, the, the prices real quick and then I'm out. So I'm just gonna do the, the, the top 10 here. Or no, top, uh, I'll do the top 20. How's that? Top 20. How about I just do the ones that I'm uh, that I like? <laughs> we'll make that easy. So we're at 741859. 14, 50, 89. So Bitcoin's rising as we did this video. Um, Ethereum 414, 16. Ripple 55 cents. Uh, Bitcoin Cash seven seven hundred eight dollars and twelve cents. Litecoin 133 dollars and 78 cents. EOS six dollars and one cent. Cardano seventeen cents. Stellar twenty three cents. Neo fifty three dollars and thirty five cents. IOTA one dollar ten cents. And Monero um eighty one hundred eighty nine dollars and ninety five cents. V chain three dollars. Binance coin thirteen dollars and fourteen cents. If you want to buy a utility coin that has a working product. Binance coin is a great one. Um, also, um, Steam. Steam has a working product. Also, when the mine tokens come, uh, when the mine mines token comes out, um, mines.com. It's the uh, um, social media platform where you can make money as well as steam it. You collect these tokens as you put your content out. So, uh, NEM, we're at 26 cents, Tether, dollar and three cents. It was at 101. Uh, Ethereum Classic, $14.95. Qtum, $14.96. Lisk, $10.24. Verge, seven cents. And Icon Project is $1.90. There's your top 20 on Coin Puffs. We're also going to go to. Silver Doctors or Silver um, uh, SD Boolean Silver Doctors Boolean for the live market data, the data, the data, the data, the data. So gold is at thirteen thirty four eighty eight, silver sixteen forty seven, platinum nine hundred twenty nine dollars and thirty five cents, palladium. $936 on the spot. So there's your spot prices for your precious metals from Silver Doctors. Uh, I am Chinodin. Thank you for all tuning in. Much love to you guys. And uh, we'll see you on the next transmission. Make sure you check out Mines. Make sure you check out Steam it if you're, if you're not seeing it on this, if you're seeing it on Facebook. i um, doing the live video on Facebook until Mines gets its live set up. And then I'll do uh, live streams on mines. And then I'll just share it to Steam it. You know, that's pretty cool, huh? And then um, I'll do, I'll do like, I'll do things on Facebook, but they're going to be deleted right away. So I, you know, I'll direct the traffic to mines and Steam it as well. Um, I might do stuff on YouTube live, but I was having a problem live streaming on, on the YouTube live. So I might just do regular videos on YouTube. And then um, Mines is also going to have kind of like how Patreon is where you can have paid content where your users can subscribe either monthly or per content. Um, say like if I wanted to do, if like I st when, I, when I start recording my album, um, I'll, re I'll, you know, record that process with camera and, and put that content you know, for the, for the for the diehard fans out there who want to see the in studio type stuff, I got a little ways to go yet. I don't exactly have the equipment to do it, so um, it's a work in progress. If you'd like to help with that work in progress, I do have um, the PayPal and the wallets and tips and stuff. Uh, you know, if you wanted to add to the cause. To be able to build a studio and everything like that. And uh, the reason I'm doing is this is because I got injured at work doing hardwood flooring from Badger Hardwood Flooring. And um, I pulled a hernia. And so I can't really work physically anymore. So I'm just doing this full time now since there's 
options available, such as Mines and Steam It, to be able to make a living off of playing my guitar and bringing you the crypto news. And it also did, it doesn't have to be just financial news. I, I, you know, bring other stuff up as I see fit. But mostly I want to stick to financial news, crypto stuff. And um, I'm, I will also be releasing videos showing like apps on your phone and just interesting stuff that we can look at new ICOs that are coming out, technologies that I think are worth investing your money into, um, you know, like putting your money into the tokens for these uh, technologies like TRX or, you know, Tron or um, these other, these other, like I said, Binance coin that has a working product. Mines, when the Mines token comes out, that'll have, that already has a working product. The working product came out before the white paper, which you don't you don't see that. Um, and what else? But yeah, if you guys are interested in all that, let me know. I'll I'll, ma I'll be making videos, so you can subscribe on Mines. You can subscribe on Steamit at Chinoden07. Um, Mines Chinoden07. It might you know like it's you know it's in the description. It's in the description. Check that out. And also, you can find me on YouTube as well. Uh, Chinodin07. Just type that in the search. But, um, forgetting anything else. Yeah, man. Much love, guys. I really appreciate you stopping by and showing some love. And uh, I'll hit you guys up on the next transmission. Deuces!